Good afternoon everyone and welcome to the Paddington House Hotel in Warrington. We've been to this hotel a couple of years ago reporting that the migrants are in here and on our recent visit to Warrington I never came because I'd read a couple of months before that this hotel was up for sale so I thought the migrants must have moved on into houses possibly and the hotel is up for sale now but I was contacted by a concerned local saying that they are still in here they're mostly out at night people feel really really frightened on the streets so I said that I would come back and take another visit here so this is a OYO group of hotels. <coughs> when we actually came the first time, it wasn't as overgrown as this, but we couldn't actually see inside because of blacked out windows. But yeah, the bikes would tell you that it's probably right. Evolution childcare. Is there the white building behind? So we're at the Paddington House Hotel in Warrington. Plenty of bikes outside the hotel. So yeah. Hello! Did they just lock the door? Yeah. yeah. So to my, I know, so to my knowledge, the asylum seekers have been in this hotel for at least two years. So it seems strange that the article in the Warrington Guardian so that this hotel was up for sale. They've just locked the door, so that tells you that the asylum seekers are still in here. And I suppose we only have to look at the bikes, guys. I think they must seem to stay in the hotel by day and uh, roam the streets by night. That's what a lot of the locals tell me on lots of these migrant hotels. It's what? I know, lots and lots of bikes, isn't there? Lots and lots of bikes. Fans as well. All the free fans. Yeah, they look quite new too. Fans, guys. Fans. More bikes. That looks like the, that's telling them there how long to put their food in the microwave by the looks of it. Circo fridge, please check all used by dates, throw away stored food, do not serve. Falter. Put your clothes on them. 
Hello. Oh, it's you again. It's you so again. Just like last time, I will let you know. I have to let you know. So yeah, yeah. We're, we're going now. I um. When feel I, free to do whatever. Yeah, yeah. Like. When I was in Warrington before, um, this hotel had been. I read that it had been put up for sale a few months ago. So I thought that the uh, the migrants had moved out, and then a local asked me if I would come back and film because there seems to be having a lot of problems with the migrants on the night out on their bikes and intimidating people. Do you know anything about this? Yeah, basically the police they come. The police when come. Something happened, but they didn't prove anything. They didn't have anything wrong doing here actually. Mm, how many I mean, times have the police done anything wrong? They check the bicycles as well. Uh, most of the bicycles are coming from charity. Yeah. And they've yeah. been bought in marketplace in Facebook, so they didn't prove anything is being stolen. Okay. So, how many. About the sale from the hotel, I have no idea, to be honest. I don't know the owner. That's uh, so, okay. I do. It's OYO Hotels, and they're big in the migrant um, chain of hotels. Um, I mean, they get the contract with the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's, it's, yeah, it's Circo and the Home Office, isn't it? But. Um, do we know roughly how many times the police has, has been to this hotel? Uh, so basically the police come coming every week just for a checkup. They're actually letting them know their rights, what they need to do, if they have, have a and if they witness any crime or they get hate crime or stuff like that. It's like basically like a friendly setup and So they have friendly police officers coming every week to yeah. to speak to them. So so what about you know, if if they leave the hotel, do they um, can they just leave or do they have a curfew when they come back? Uh, they sign them in and sign them out. Sign them in and out. where they're going mostly. But, but what happened if they didn't come back? It's not really happened yet. I mean, I don't know anything about that. It you don't know that. Just, yeah, we, we just had um, a place called Thwaites Hall at Cottingham in East Yorkshire. Um, up to 30. Um, never came back never came back and just our worry is you know why we do this is because we've had so many terrorist attacks in our country and I'm not saying all of them but some of the migrant men are putting pictures on TikTok throwing their ID away in the sea and, and, and making a joke of it you know um, so yeah that, that's the only reason that, that I come and I do I film this but yeah thank you for your time yeah, I know it's you only much. your job but uh, yeah uh, enjoy it follow Raki when you go next I never did, yeah. thank you I never bye. bye you too love bye so there we go guys that was uh, that was the um, the security guard from the Fergrove Hotel in Warrington that I spoke to last time I was here and he's obviously at this hotel and yeah, he's actually spoke to me, which is very nice. Um, he's not one of the asylum seekers. He has been in, in our country quite a few years. But yeah, he's seen a nice guy. We don't often get a nice reception at these hotels, so I'd just like to thank that guy. So here we go, Paddington House Hotel. I asked for my local concerned residents about the police come into this hotel if they had to come out to any incidents and I was advised that the migrants get a courtesy police visit every week to make sure that they're okay and to make sure that there is no hate crimes in the vicinity so guys locals I've been to report for you um, they don't seem to be any crimes coming from this hotel if anybody's got any more information please pm me thank you very much everyone for tuning in good afternoon from yorkshire rose and bulldog <laughs>